Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows XP onto QEMU with the help of Amigui. Of course, uh, if you haven't installed it yet, I recommend you to install Amigui. I recommend you to install Amigui first and then come back here. With Amigui opened, click on New Virtual Machine and then name it whatever you want. I name it. Uh, of course, after get a 32 bit Windows XP ISO file, this open 32 bit. Let's say QEMU64. And uh, for Windows XP, I'd say. 512 megabytes are the absolute minimum. For the VHD browse, uh, I get onto my bigger drive again. Windows XP, I get six. QCAL2 and make it 20 gigabytes. I recommend 40 for productive use. Tick next. For VGA, select Silas. And for network, select the RTL8139. For the mouse, leave the PS2 mouse selected. Click next. And then click next again. For the sound cards, you uh, use the AC97 with the CPU cores at 1. You can make it 2 if your processor is good enough, mine is not. For keyboard, leave the PS2 keyboard selected and click next. Click next. Add USB support. It's recommended. And then type in Excel. TCJ or if you uh, selected host as the CPU you can also use Hexam or WHPX but I leave it to TC TCJ now your system should be listed. Now select your CD ROM file. Uh, ISO file. And select Windows XP Home or Pro with x86. Should be x86. Boot from D and set the date and time to the system zone. And start the VM. Here you can go to the window and here short uh, ad for my channel. Of course, if you like this video at the end, you can like it if you want to. And also subscribe to this channel in order to not miss any of my videos. Now back to normal programming. So I'm starting Windows and press enter, press F8, press enter and form it using the NTFS file system. Now that uh, it doesn't take very long. It isn't as fast as with VirtualBox or VMware Workstation. But it's at least usable, especially when using TCJ, TCG, uh, TCG. I mean, or be even better if your processor supports it, Hexam or WHPX. Now, I'd say the easy 
when Windows XP has finished doing this part of the installation. So the last files are being copied over uh, the uh, my uh, our Windows XP configuration is being initialized. So hopefully your computer is less uh, is uh, has got less to do with watching this video than mine with recording it. Editing is probably the worst thing ever. You can restart your system now. And don't press any keys or else you will restart the setup from the, uh, as a whole. If you've done everything right, then you should be greeted with the Windows XP boot screen for the first time. This is gonna take a while. Another tip, uh, if you want to use the mouse, you better do Ctrl Alt F for full screen and then press with the left mouse button. And if you want to free the mouse, press Ctrl Alt F and Ctrl Alt G to release uh, the mouse again. Right? Okay. So we will continue in full screen with Windows XP. And that's what I like about QEMU. You cannot save me. Cause I don't need saving. It's everything I've been chasing. All here for the taking. Don't wanna test your luck with me. I think I've had enough disease. I'm sick of all the bad thoughts, people who are half done. You are not as tough as <laughs> If you have a different keyboard layout than the US keyboard layout, click on details, then add to select your language, in my case it's Germany, German Germany, German OK. Then select German as the default input language, click on apply and then OK. Then click on next. Type in your name and then depending on the service pack that is installed on your installation medium, you might have to enter your product key. In case of service pack 3 you don't have to and that's what I don't do. Because uh, this is just for demonstration purposes. Click next. Then select uh, I select my time zone in Berlin and then click next. Windows XP should then begin installing the network.
just leave it as it is and click next. So, okay, we're here again with, of course, Windows XP. And then, if you face that, click on OK. And then click on OK again. Welcome to Microsoft Windows XP. Let's spend only a few minutes setting up your virtual machine. Click next to continue. Uh, by the way, this is... Uh, that's me. To get to the welcome screen. Then followed by the desktop. Okay, fat spoilers here. I am um, sorry again. Or am I? Oh, yeah. Uh. Come on, sorry. Come on, sorry. <laughs> But yes, that's it. Windows XP at its full glance. Well, almost.
she could. For now, have fun with my lessons. Peace. Stop here. If you like this video, you can. Uh, you know what to do. Now, I I say goodbye.